here it is. We got the M18 fuel vacuum, six gallon uh, single battery unit. And uh, this is the only one they had at the Home Depot. This is what comes in the kit here. I'm assuming, haven't opened up the box yet, so we're about to do this. It came with this uh, package here at Home Depot. We got this for free as well. And um, so we'll see what's inside here. Take a look. I have yet to see a review on this specific um, vacuum so far. I've seen lots of reviews for, I think it was the two gallon vacuum. Milwaukee basically demonstrate uh, them using this one so we know what it does with like the uh, 8 amp hour 12 amp hour whatever it was battery and it's a three and a half horsepower vacuum but I'm going to show you um, today hopefully what it's more capable of with a lower um, battery that's still m18 so let's open it and see what we got so for my use for this thing is I don't have any power say at my storage unit um, or anywhere else sometimes that I may be and obviously I do car detailing and sometimes I want to clean up stuff like say I want to clean up the inside of the car here because it hasn't been cleaned in a while I want to clean up some messy floor mats or whatever just just quick vacuum stuff like that or sometimes I like to clean up the back here you can see some dirt builds up so some vacuum stuff like that or you can see the work truck here is getting a little dirty as well. So we're going to open this up, see how well this is, and hopefully this is going to be a worth of a purchase. Okay, so it is actually relatively small just by looking at it for the plant. So there's the vacuum. It's actually smaller than I thought. It seems like there's a bunch of other stuff in here. So we have actually kind of a long hose and it does feel pretty good. Side. and two little extenders I don't know if I'll use these but yeah underneath here is the cart now I don't know if I'm actually gonna use this cart but it's here anyways so let's throw the vacuum to the or not the vacuum the box to the side the cart up here the hose so um, did i just show you guys the hose is actually like it feels very nice honestly and it's pretty long like this has i'm pretty sure this is longer than any hose that i have in my current uh vacuums so we'll, we'll leave that up there so here's the roller here it has actually super nice wheels on it Kind of see those like they're i don't think they have bearings in them they definitely do not have bearings in them but they're like a tougher a tougher uh, like plastic and there's locks on them too which is a good thing and there's this little lock here i guess to take the vacuum out so we will slip this in This how it goes oh just like that okay so it's in there it's still not very tall of a unit which is good and now we this should come off all right so we got the the filters are already on here. What do we have here? Oh, we have a we have a crevice tool right here. This is actually 
Seems like a pretty good one. And we have a flat one here. Honestly, when you're detailing cars, you're most likely just gonna be using something like this. The odd time, if there's like some big stuff, you might use this, but at least we have it. All right, so here's what we wanna test, right? Anyways, this is where this stuff fits up here. So it's actually a nice little compartment for these to just sit up here. They kind of don't move too much. Again, like I said, this isn't too tall of a unit. I guess here's a little drain in this box. So this little guy here. Oh, look how easy that slides in. That, that is beautiful. Look at that. My other vacuum like this one, dude, man, you got to shove the thing in there. So it just, just goes in and turns like that. Just a simple little turn. Is there, uh, we, we'll, we'll put it this way where it says Milwaukee. Oh, uh, here comes the train. Hold on a second. All right, so the train isn't too loud right now. So let's just go ahead and show you the testing. So anyways, you attach the crevice tool and you kind of just see, oops, I got this thing wrapped around. So you can see I have power in my truck here to charge batteries right that's kind of the whole idea that was with this but you can see it's a pretty long hose right so you can be doing over here well this thing's over here right pretty cool with that now what we're going to test is we know that this thing works with a five amp hour, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 24, whatever the hell you got, right? But the real test is, can you use a 1.5 M18 battery, fully charged? Let's see, can you see that? Fully charged on this guy right here. Plug it in. We'll put it on low speed. And it's working. Low speed's working. How about high speed? Suction is actually pretty good. off so the suction works with a 1.5 m18 that's what we wanted to test you saw i only did a little bit of vacuum in there on like basically nothing but let's see what the battery life is like and we're looking at three bars so let's put this to the test again let's go and vacuum part of my truck and see what it can do with three bars now on this. And then again, well, we can test it with a full battery 2.0 and a full battery high output 3.0 and see if you got these batteries here, can you run this thing long enough for what you need it to instead of spending another $500 just on a, a battery for this if you don't have the batteries already because say you don't have any bigger tools. That's what we're testing here is can you run this vacuum with a smaller battery. So let's let's test it out vacuuming the truck. We're gonna be running it on high speed to see what it does.
Now, you guys be the judge of that. We got a clean floor mat. Now, it's not gonna be perfectly clean because this just went through a Canadian winter. So, it vacuumed up all the shit that I wanted to vacuum up and it looks way better. I ran the thing on high, even moved the vacuum and vacuumed the stuff. Now, for example, here's where I was cleaning. That's where the vacuum is back there. It's not bad. The hose is nice and soft. You can kind of wiggle it around, do what you need with it. So I actually, I really enjoy actually using this thing. So let's see how much battery life we got on here right now. We're at two bars right now on a 1.5. Okay, you just saw what I did. Let's turn it back on high. We're gonna go vacuum up. See what the battery life set? We're at one bar right now. You saw how much vacuuming I was able to accomplish with just a single, a single 1.5 battery. Roll this over here. Now, keep in mind that running a 1.5 battery on this which you're either gonna, if you have a drill set, you're either gonna have a 1.5 or a two amp hour battery. Because every drill set comes with 1.5 or two, or two amp hour battery. So this just shows you that you can run a 1.5 Milwaukee's lowest M18, I believe their lowest M18 battery on this vacuum. And it works and I vacuumed the driver's side of my truck and it looks great. Keep in mind the suction is not fantastic with that um battery i'd say it's probably a good two horsepower that's my guess it's a what i would consider if you were to buy like a super low budget plug-in wall vacuum running a 1.5 so you know 1.5 works this is a success in my books because this means with any battery that i have if i need to do a quick cleanup of something don't need to plug it into anything. This is just standstill on itself. I can just put a battery into it. Like I said, my truck can charge batteries all day long. So we can use this to vacuum. All right, the back of my truck is a little dusty and dirty back here just from working. It kind of just happens over time like that. But, okay, I can honestly say this is this has to be like one of the best vacuums I've used or anything like that just for the fact that I don't have to plug it in and I can use a 1.5 it's on one bar to get the point but let's run a 3.0 high output right now full bars shove this in here all right turn this on high Way more suction with a better battery. I can say 
Because if you don't hear this, like, let me put this on the ground over here. Listen how quiet this is. This thing is so quiet. Like, I can have a conversation. I can have a conversation in front of this vacuum. This other one that I got right there from Princess Auto, it's a 5.5 horsepower, but oh my God, is it so loud. So this thing, super quiet. Let's check it out. You can wheel it over. Look at this. Open up the door of the truck. And we'll just come in here and vacuum. All right, you saw how long that thing is running for. Three, I had that clip you guys just watched was a seven minute clip in total. Honestly, I can say if I had enough batteries, I would probably have two of those things right now. I actually don't have too many batteries myself. That's one thing. I have more Milwaukee tools than I have batteries. Maybe that's like most people, but I, I think I only have, I think I have five. I think I have five Milwaukee batteries and I've got too many tools for those batteries. Anyways, I can say that vacuum right there is amazing, okay? If you're gonna use it for general purpose stuff, like I am gonna use it on mine, like gonna use it to clean up my cars or hell, you might you might um, have a shed or something in uh, the back of your house that doesn't have power and you just wanna vacuum something up quick or whatever the hell you might wanna do with this vacuum. I think it works great. I think you can definitely get enough life out of one battery. Hell, if you only have the two, two amp hour batteries, take both of those with you, go do what you need to do with it. And I think that they are gonna last you plenty long enough for just small, odd jobs. Now I wouldn't recommend running that vacuum for uh, two hours, three hours straight, like we do with the plug-in ones. Uh, Cause that's what you do sometimes when you're, you're um, vacuuming super dirty cars is you're running those things for two, three hours straight, if they're that bad. And, uh, but we definitely won't be doing that with that Milwaukee one, but it'll be for uh, quick cleanup jobs. Maybe cars just need quick vacuum, whatever it may be. I am, I hope when you guys watch this video, you're not just like, oh, why don't you put it in an eight amp hour battery? It would work great. Cause we already saw Milwaukee demonstrate showing what it can do with a high amp hour battery. 
but no one has showed what it can do with a small, low amp hour battery. Because it's an M18 unit, all M18 batteries fit in it, but we have yet to see what it can do with a low amp hour battery. Now we know that you can run a 1.5, a 2, 3 amp hour, but whatever you want in this thing, and it's still gonna work. It's not gonna work up to the performance that it would if you had a better battery in it, but it can definitely get the job done and I can work with that. So I'd say this gets a thumb up in my book and I would definitely recommend this to someone else. If this, if this was the two battery unit, um, I don't know how well it would work, but since this is just a single battery unit, it definitely works pretty good. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else there is to say, but definitely can say that this thing this thing can uh, put to the test. I'm not going to test this thing with uh, water, like sucking up water and stuff. We use that one all the time to vacuum up a shit ton of water. That's like a typical $150 unit right there. And that thing has been abused over the last year. And uh, it works great, honestly, but it's just super noisy compared to this one. So here's this one on low. Like you. You could run this thing on low all day, vacuuming up small stuff. And it, and it doesn't even make that much noise. Like, you could be... I could be over here, doing whatever. Like, oh, I'm just gonna vacuum this up right now. Oh, there's some dirt on the ground. Whatever the hell you want to vacuum up. On low, I could be having a conversation with somebody just working away. Here we go. This thing's still going. This is still that's high. This is still the same. Now, I can tell you right now, the battery is not hot, but it's warmer than this battery right here by just a smidge, just a smidge. And this thing's on one bar flashing, so we know this battery's dead and it's gotta be charged. Oh, like here's the 1.5, still on two bars. Uh, we obviously ran this one longer and here's the two amp hours. So we already know the two amp hours is gonna work. I have no doubt. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, and uh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna have to buy a $500 battery to run this vacuum, and clearly not for the stuff that I wanna do. It's gonna work just fine. All right, thanks for watching, guys. All right, we're gonna run this low speed. Pretty good.